<laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, today we're gonna be making a glass uh squid. So if you get your uh, I have a ten millimeter rod here that I'm heating up. So you have to get this nice and molten. I'm using a minor bench burner, thanks to Ross. Kind of help me out with that one. Also known as a uh, hot glass on YouTube. That's like his username. You can check out his stuff. He's pretty good. Oh yeah, sorry for the flare. I don't have a filter on my camera, so I know that's gonna be kind of annoying. Sorry about that. I think I have like a six millimeter rod. I'll use this for like the legs and pulling it out. So it doesn't have to be really round. You kind of want it oblong. So you can kind of get that like head, that weird head shape going. You just want to attach this for a plenty. And then you heat up where the base of the head will be. This one's small, you can do it bigger than this. I'm just doing it small because I'm almost out of oxygen. As you detach it, you kind of want to get it towards the front and really thin because this will be one of your tentacles. And then you can just take this like that. <coughs> take it and with your mashers, whatever, you can just pull it out a little bit. And then just kind of square it off. Like that. So there's the first one. That one's the most uh, awkward looking. If you're better than me, which you probably are, you can, um, you can make it more realistic looking, I guess. Um, so now, um, you kind of want to get it down to a small flame so you don't melt the other pieces off by accident. So. So you take it and you attach it really well, and then you just heat it up and pull it out like that, and <laughs> cut it and round it off. So you can make about six of these for a uh, squid and eight for an octopus, I guess. Oh, that makes sense common geometry. If you mess up like I do, it's not that big of a deal. Because it takes some skill to do these easily. I suck at this. I'm just starting. So don't criticize me too harshly. But when you make this, this is just a general idea of how to make one. And so not very hard to think of. I just want to put a uh, video on to be part of the glass community, kind of. I don't know, whatever. So 
We just keep attaching these. You want them pretty well attached. Because if they're not, um, well, first of all, they're going to fall off. Second of all, they'll look weird if they have, like, lumps. They'll look like muscles almost. That's pretty cool to do in uh, dogs or cats or whatever you want to do. Or horses or something. Something with muscles in it. Or dinosaur or whatever. But with a squid, it just doesn't really look right. Look right. They all don't really have to be that great. Actually, for this one, I think I'm going to make a jellyfish. Because <laughs> it kind of looks more like a jellyfish than it does a squid. So that's kind of convenient. That's what I like about doing art. If you want to make something and you mess up, well, make it into something else. So... I guess it'll be a jellyfish instead, so sorry about <laughs> calling it a squid the whole video. If you get it stuck to another leg, like that right here, if you, if you don't melt it in too bad, you can just wait till it cools down, and it should just pop off, like, just like that. See? Now you gotta... If that happens, you gotta small and like uh, make your flame more acute. Focus it just on that one rod to get it malleable. Kind of scoot it away. There we go. Maybe one more small one. Looks good. You can even use your spare glass. That's what I like doing because I have to buy my own glass and well or on your own or crappy allowance. Glass is pretty expensive, so 